am going to be showing you how to do blackout poetry. Uh, blackout poetry is an easy way to take an existing text, a newspaper, an old book, a magazine, or something that you print off the internet and take some of the words out of it uh, to create your own poem. And one of the really fun things about blackout poetry is you can be as creative, as artistic as you would like to be. Uh, I have some examples to show you here. So we have this one as a poem about pirates and you can see that it kind of looks like a pirate map. They've got some waves and the shape of the land there. Um, this one. This one has got kind of a Zen tangle feel to it with some different shapes and colors and patterns uh, around the words that they picked for their poem there. This one is kind of looks like stars. It's got uh, some yellow around the words there instead of just the black. And then it's got these like circular scratched out areas that kind of look like stars. This one is like a, a pointillism. It's got different colored dots all around. Um, it kind of almost looks like a fire or an explosion uh, going on there. This one has got some birds on a branch there, kind of in the middle. Uh, this one is about how you know, life is like a lemon, and you can see that they've drawn a lemon and a lemon slice around the poem there. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take your um, text. I'm using a magazine article here. And you're going to take a pencil and just kind of go around and circle or put a box around some words that you want in your poem. And you can use words by themselves, you can use a string of words, you can even actually just use part of a word if you want to cut off like the end. So then you're going to take a uh, Sharpie or another marker and you can trace around your words that you outlined with the pencil. can go through and just black out the words that you don't want.
So then if you want, you can be done with that. Um, I can call that good. Or you can take some other markers. You can uh, add some decorations, some different colors. I'm gonna make some little columns here. So you can decorate that as much as you want, or as little as you want, um, and then just make it however you like it. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. I uh, hope we'll see you next time.